welcome to AIC Reviews. I'm doing a quick video on some new tires I have for my wife's car. It's a Ford Flex 2011. Um, this is not a tire review, but initial impressions. If you read or see a review of tires that they have not put at least a few thousand miles on the tires, Unless the review is very negative, I would not trust it because I would sure hope that any new tire is better than tires you just got rid of, if that makes sense. So the tires I had on this car previously, now I haven't owned this car very long, we did buy it used, and it came with a set of very expensive Yokohama tires. Now in my opinion, those tires were very bad, partially because they were four years old. And partially because they were very worn out and so they are noisy they crashed over bumps they rode rough um, they had a vibration that even after I took it in to get rebalanced it was still kind of there um, and so my opinion of those tires is pretty low because they had I don't know how many miles but they had a lot of miles on them simply because again they were an older set of tires these tires are brand new these are fairly inexpensive these are not the cheapest tires I could buy but they were pretty close and they had some really good deals over Thanksgiving weekend they are Nanking which is I believe a Taiwanese company and they are the SP5s which is an all-season tire they are directional and normally I don't recommend getting a directional tire uh, for rotation purposes but my wife's car doesn't get a lot of miles on it and so rotation doesn't happen very often so they should be okay and obviously these tires compared to my previous tires they ride nicer they're significantly quieter um, they don't have the, the vibration that I had was all gone um, so mainly this is just an initial re uh, overview of how I think they look their overall construction and I think they look good on the car um, they have a fairly uh, aggressive tread pattern I'm in Arizona so I don't have to worry about snow or ice on the roads much um, so I didn't have to get something that had a little bit better snow traction rating on it but I did want something with a good wet traction because when it rains here it really rains I did get the stock tire size I feel that I didn't need to change that the tires the wheels and tires on uh, the Ford Flex filled out nicely some cars really could stand a slightly larger tire now just some thoughts in, in tire purchasing and, and tire ownership I've said this in other videos but I'm just gonna repeat myself so bear with me if you've listened to it before next to brakes tires are probably the most important thing on your car a tire affects your braking performance it affects your handling it, it affects the overall safety of the vehicle and so having a good tire a quality tire is very very important um, when I buy when I buy tires a couple things I think about well when I go to replace tires a couple things I think about first of all I think about the tread depth and I do replace them I don't wait until they're completely worn out but I do replace them when they have a few uh, one or two millimeters of life left um, just because if you read any of the studies uh, braking performance decreases significantly the closer you get to those wear lines um, and I am in Arizona and it gets very hot and it's very dry here in the summer and so I do not keep tires that are older than four years old they dry out they start to dry rot and when they get old and they start to dry rot they become a hazard on the road if you hit any debris they're more likely to blow out if you get them too hot or let them deflate too far they can blow up on you when you're going down the road 
they're a lot more likely to do that. And so I highly recommend that you do not keep tires more than four years. Five years is really pushing it. Whether that tire is worn out or not, whether you've used up its life or not, as far as tread depth goes, about four years I recommend replacing it. Now if you live somewhere that's not as hot, not as dry, maybe you can push that out to five, maybe six years, but I really wouldn't go that far personally, even if I live somewhere where um, it wasn't so hot and dry. I would probably stick to my four year time because every time I've had tires older than that, I've had a problem. The other thing that I think about when, when buying tires is there's a lot of tires online that, or shouldn't say online, that are available um, that have a more than 60,000 mile tread life. I believe these ones might be 60, but they also just might be 40,000 miles. I don't remember right off the top of my head. Um, but since this car gets such little use, I've owned it now four months and I've put right out of 1,000, 1,100 miles on it. And so I put about 300 miles a month on this car. And so I will never hit the tread life before the four years is up. I just, I'm not going to. It's not going to happen. Even on my car, um, which is my Infiniti G35, and I parked under a tree and I'm really unhappy about that. These are also 40 or 50,000 mile tires and I probably will be replacing them before I wear them out. Maybe not because I I do like to slide around corners a little bit. Um, but those tires that have, you know, I've seen tires with 70, 80, 100,000 mile life um, guarantee on them and when you get a tire with that long of a life, it's not like you get more tread. It's not even necessary that they're a better quality tire. Typically they're made well, but they're not necessarily made better. It's usually because they're harder. They are made of a harder rubber. They're made with more silica, which affects braking. It affects wet weather. That's why at snow tires, don't last very long they're made of very soft rubber so that they hold up well in winter and so they wear out much more quickly because they're softer um, but you get much better traction with them especially in the wet and in the ice and in the cold because they don't get as hard so I would never recommend somebody buy a 70 80 thousand mile even 60 thousand mile I would I would not necessarily buy because if you do buy it, you're not going to use, you know, and you replace your tires in a reasonable amount of time, you know, four to five years, you're probably not going to put 80,000 miles on your car in that time. And you're not going to get as good of overall performance from them because they're such hard tires. They also give you, typically give you worse comfort. They give you worse wear. They give you more noise, more vibration because they are a harder tire. They typically have a much stiffer sidewall and much tougher compound on the tread. So I personally, and again this is a personal preference, would recommend against a high mileage tire. <clears throat> They're also typically significantly more expensive. So you're going to spend two to three times as much for those tires and probably replace them just as soon as I'm going to replace or as I, if I were to have put those tires on this car I replace them the same time frame as I'd be replacing these tires here but have spent three or four times the price even if I have to replace these tires after just two years I would probably be still ahead buying these tires a second time around than I would buying those other tires because again they're three times the price so so far, again, initial impressions on these tires is very good, but again, it should be. If you have tires you don't like when you drive out of the factory, or excuse me, out of the shop, that's a problem. Tires should be good. They should be supple. They should have good traction when they're new. And if they don't, take them back. I have bought tires that had, a, had some ex excessive noise, 
Now if you're going from a street tire to like a mud swamp or on a Jeep or a truck, obviously they're going to be noisier and they're going to ride different. But if you're replacing a similar type tire with another similar type tire, your experience should be improved with the new tires. Which obviously in my case has happened. I do like these tires so far, but I've only put about 8 miles on them. We'll see in about 5,000 miles I'll follow up and do an actual review on these tires. If they're still available, I... I'll show you my Jeep over here. I bought a set of tires for my Jeep. It's been about a year and a half now. My neighbor has a leaking hose pipe I need to talk to him about again. But I bought these tires made by Hercules, and I really like these tires. These are a really nice tire. And they've done real well. Um, I've put a few thousand miles on them, a lot of off-road miles, and they've held up really, really well. In fact, much better than I was expecting them to with the amount of off-road and the kind of off-road I do. But the, I've run into a problem. <laughs> they've replaced these tires with something else. And I, I, doing a review on these tires doesn't make much sense because you can't buy them new anymore. So. The only place I've had a problem is here on this tire. I'm going to rotate this one to the back because it's rubbing up here. That's a different story. So if in a few thousand miles these tires are still available, I'll do a follow-up review. If anybody has any questions between now and then, and they don't see a follow-up video and their tires are still available, I'm more than happy to answer any questions about them. I'll just leave a comment down below. One thing I keep running into is people have their privacy settings set on YouTube. To where if you ask a question i cannot respond to you um you'll need to change that uh, plenty of videos on how to do that um it's in your google plus preferences um, i think i had somebody ask me questions about my cooper tires here and i couldn't answer them because their privacy settings were locked so i couldn't message them or, or reply to their their question um and so their question still goes unanswered um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully my video uh, gives you some good insights. Again, these are Nankang SP-5s. They're an all-season, high-performance tire. Um, uh, Flex is not a high-performance vehicle, but it does have a lot of horsepower, and they were cheap. <laughs> that was the main thing. They were very inexpensive over the holiday weekend, so that is why I purchased them. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.